Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a dynamic calendar in Google Sheet. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this dynamic calendar wherein you can select year from this drop down and the calendar will be changed automatically. You can select the month also from this drop down and these dates will be changed automatically. So let's start without delay. I'm going to add a new worksheet here that is sheet three. And now we will design our calendar from the scratch. So let's take here year and here month. Okay. And we will create the drop down for the year and for the month. So what we will do, we will add few year here on, let's say column P let's take here 2020 and then take here 2021. And you can drag this down and you can decide how many years you want to take. Let's say I'm taking till 2040 for now. And for month also, we can create a list January and then we can fill this till December till here. Let's delete these. Now we will create the drop down list for year first. So just right click here, go to the drop down. And here in the criteria, just select drop down from a range and we will provide the range here. So just click on select data range and just click here and select the range. This is for the year. So select this range, click on OK. So we have the drop down for the year. You can see we can select any year from here. Similarly, we will create the drop down for the month. So right click, go to the drop down, select here, drop down from our range, select data range, and we will select the month this time, select this range, just click on okay. Now let's see, we have the drop down for month also. All right. Now here, first we will create the date. Okay. So that date will be we can use here date value function and let's take the first date. So use one dash and the month. So I'm taking this month and year. I'm taking this year and just hit the enter and use shift control and three to format this. So this is first January 2024. If I will change this as 2023, then here you can see it is first January 2023. Okay, so this is dynamic date. We have created this to take the support in the calendar. Now let's see what is the day of this date. To get the day of this date, we are using the text function, text, select this and format in the inverted comma, press DDD thrice and hit the enter. So this is Sunday. If I will select here Fab, so this is Wednesday. Okay, and let's see the big day. So use the big day function and select this and just close the bracket. So this is fourth day of the week. So big will start from Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. If I will select here January, this is first day of the week. Okay, now we will start creating the calendar here. So let's type here Sunday S U N and fill till the Saturday. Select six rows here, excluding header. So total seven rows. Okay. And select these all columns. Now select the entire row and change the row width. Let's say this one and select all columns, change the column width also. Let's take this one. Okay. Now we will select this range and we will go to the border and you can take any color. Let's say I'm taking this color and all border. Now go to the alignment and align this center vertical alignment. Let's take middle. Okay. Now we will go to the font and we can choose any font from here. I have taken this one. You can decide whatever you want to take, make it slightly bigger around 15. Okay. Now we will go to the view. So, and remove the grid lines from here. All right. We can increase the size of this. So what I will do, I'll select these three cell and use merge cells. Similarly here also use merge cells. Now we will use the sequence function here. Use sequence and number of rows. We will take six rows columns. We will take seven columns comma start. We will take this date. Okay. 
whatever is the first date but it is not necessary every time sunday will be the first date so i'll use here minus and we will use the big day of this and we will use plus one here and just close the big it so we are getting all dates here so let's make it slightly smaller to show you and use shift control and three so we are getting the dates here so this is the first date of january if i will select here fab then you can see the fab should start from wednesday so it is starting from wednesday okay you can see it here now we will format this so let's select this and then go to the format and go to the number format so we will use the custom number format so let's use here custom number format and we will take here only d and apply so we are getting only day of the date and make it slightly bigger now all right now we can see we have these dates for the previous month and these dates for the next month so we will apply a conditional formatting so that only this month date should be highlighted. So let's select this range and then go to the format and conditional formatting. We will put the formula in the condition formatting. So just open this drop down and select here custom formula age. We will put the formula here equal to and we have the date here which is D5. Okay. And this is B8 and we will use the month formula month of v8 is not equal to month of this cell which is d5 so put here d5 and put the dollar sign before d and 5 and just close the bracket okay if the month is not same then we will format this so let's take no color and font color we will take white font so that will not be visible okay and just close this so here you can see we are seeing only current month dates now you can increase the font little bit if you want and for the sunday we can change the font color as red let's say this one you can provide some background color of the header so let's take this blue background and font white okay now here we can delete this Wednesday because we have just taken for support but this date we are using in the formula so we will take the font color as white here that will not be visible. Now our calendar is ready if I will select here let's say March then you can see it is showing the data for March and for June or for any other year it is working okay so friends that is how you can create the dynamic calendar in google sheet friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching